guys, Dr. Sean here. Hope everyone's doing okay. So today we're going to be talking about lockjaw. So one of you guys had a question about it, so I'm going to be talking about it today. Lockjaw is when the jaw muscles spasm and, or in, and your jaw feels like it's kind of frozen in a position and you may not be able to open it or close uh, your mouth. It can be painful and lead to many complications. So I will go over lockjaw and its symptoms, its causes, and its treatment. So in terms of symptoms, besides your jaw being locked, you can also have headaches, jaw pain, earaches, difficult speech, and it can also make it hard to swallow. Since you have a hard time swallowing and hard time eating, sometimes the jaw, the mouth can all, um, start to become dry. And obviously with dry mouth, you have a lot of other complications. Now, these causes are mainly happen soon after locked jaw. More long-term symptoms would be tooth decay, um, bruxism, or malnutrition because it's going to be difficult to eat. Now, in terms of the causes, there are multiple causes of locked jaw that include TMJ disorders, oral infections, medications, cancer, and tetanus. These can all affect the jaw and muscle movement, so which in turn can cause locked jaw. So, any sort of issues that can affect muscle or joint movement can end up causing lockjaw. Now for treatment, you can treat, treat it by relaxing the muscles and getting them to move normally again. Uh, you also should find out the cause of the spasm uh, and so physical therapy and medications can treat lockjaw as well. If your jaw remains opened or closed in a locked position, then you would probably want to go to the ER so they can, they can have reset because you don't really want your jaw in a certain position for too long or more breakdown or issues can arise. Well, there you go. A little bit more information about lockjaw. So now if uh, you or your patients have it, you'll know more a little about it. Okay? Have a great day, guys. Bye.